Good day. Today's LearnDigitalAdvertising.com tutorial is going to show you very quickly how to connect MailChimp to Google Data Studio. And we're going to take it a step further and create actually a great email marketing template so that you can not only see all the MailChimp data, such as campaign information, clicks, opens, unsubscribes, um, but also Google Analytics data, which is going to pull in all that on-site behavior, how much revenue was generated, how many sessions were created, that sort of thing. So on screen right now, you're going to look at uh, something what we're basically going to end up with, a uh, similar look. Um, and it's going to have a, a bunch of different sections, and you can view them all in the blog post uh, in the link below the video. Uh, and we're just going to jump right in and show you how to connect all this. should take about three minutes. So let's do it. First thing you're going to do is visit our templates. Again, links in the blog post and below the video. And you're just going to click Use Template. So by clicking Use Template, what this does is make the template yours. You're no longer connected to our template. Your data is still yours. And you got a few quick steps here to connect your data, and then you are up and running. So first things first, step one, you're going to want to create a free Supermetrics account if you don't have one already. Uh, it just takes a minute. There's a link right there. So just click through and create your account. We're going to need Supermetrics to connect Data Studio to MailChimp. Uh, the Google Analytics connection will be free, and that's directly through Google. Um, the the uh, MailChimp one, uh, it is free, but it's also there's some upgrades as well with Supermetrics depending on the volume you're doing and everything. So um, you can check all that out on their website. So we already have a Supermetrics account, so what we're going to do is start adding our data sources. So as I mentioned, there's two data sources. First is Google Analytics. Um, so first thing you're going to do is go lower right like you usually would to create a data source. And I'm just going to call this data source Analytics. And going to go ahead and attach the Google Analytics connector made by Google. And we're just going to pick one to do here. And after we see the list field, we're going to go ahead and add this data source to the report. So nothing has changed yet. We still need to connect some things. Um, but while we're here, let's just go ahead and add, uh, attach the MailChimp account itself. So uh, I'm going to go resource, and we're going to add one more data source. And this data source is going to be called MailChimp. And this time around, we're going to use the Supermetrics connector for MailChimp. And since we have an account already, this is going to be pretty easy. Um, I'm going to select this connector. And there's really just one thing to configure. It's going to ask you to select the campaigns or lists which you want to report on. Now, if you've never logged into Supermetrics before, you may have had a login screen in between, uh, you know, before and now. Um, but what, what you're going to want to look for is your list name and all campaigns. So if you have multiple lists, you have to pick which one or which lists you want to report on. You can do multiple at once if you want to. We're just going to look at this one list. We're going to check it off. And that's the only configuration uh, for this. So I'm just going to hit connect and uh, we're going to approve the data fields. No changes to make here. So now both of our data sources are attached. Um, we're just going to quickly add them to the appropriate charts. So what we did in this template to make this easy is we grouped all the Google Analytics uh, charts together. We also grouped all the MailChimp charts together. So what you're going to do first, uh, where it says step two here, it says attach Google Analytics here. So I'm just going to create this. I'm going to click, I'm sorry, this scorecard right here. You'll see on the right side group property show up. And that, what that's going to allow us to do is add this um, data source to that whole group. And you'll see in a second that about half of our charts all populate. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that because we don't need that anymore. These are just instructions. So, so all the Google Analytics data you can see is pulling in already. Um, now there's one modification to make to Google Analytics. We're technically pulling in all the data. So what you're going to want to do is add a group filter. And you're going to create a new filter. And the goal of this filter is to look only at email traffic. So I'm just going to call it email traffic GA. Now, for most of you, um, what you want to do is probably filter by medium. So depending on how you tag using UTM codes all of your uh, email marketing accounts, this is what you want to put in here. So we always, for email, use a medium of email. Uh, you may use something different, but this is pretty standard. So we're going to include the medium contains email and hit save. 
So now what we've done at the group level is attach the data source and we're filtering that data source just for the email traffic. So you can see a lot of our charts changed uh, to only show email traffic. That part's really important or else you're going to be reporting on all website data. You want to just sort of filter to that email traffic. Last step, same, th same logic here. Step three, attach MailChimp here. I'm just going to click that scorecard there. Again, the group's going to populate. And this time I'm just going to say MailChimp. And while that's loading, I'm going to go ahead and delete instructions and voila you can see that we have all of our data here how many emails sent sessions we have the campaign level stuff we can look at email traffic so this is just to get a feeling for on the day to day or week to week how we're doing it um, under the list data we have the list growth information so on this particular website um, it's a certain goal that we track that shows the different uh, signups um, so this gives us an idea so it's actually a google analytics goal we're pulling in here you may need to switch that out based on what your goal is that uh, defines a, a newsletter sign up the unsubscribes and bounces this comes right out of mailchimp so you get that data there um, nothing you really need to do there and at the bottom, email revenue trends. This is the Google Analytics report. Um, what you might want to consider doing if you're not an e-commerce site is switching to goal completions or you know something else that you want to track over time. Um, but this is very much, now this template is yours. It's very much yours to customize as you want. Uh, really hope this helps you and uh, gets you started. Uh, happy reporting.